The uh, Where's Mitch meme is, 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 is rolling along. Um, Sean, this is uh, audio coming out of my computer. This, here is uh, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez in Washington, D.C. They're doing this Where's Mitch thing, you know, looking high and low for him. Search of Mitch McConnell. He's not on cloakroom. He's not in the Capitol. He's not in the Russell Building. He's not in the floor of the Senate. And 800,000 people don't have their paychecks. So where's Mitch? So she, she's got that down. I mean, <laughs> she has that down. Meanwhile, you know, I, I shared this with you uh, yesterday or the day before this. Uh, actually, I think probably both. Uh, this uh, sto The story that was published in the Daily Caller where a right winger, uh, you know, basically just comes right out and says, uh, eh, you know, we don't want anybody coming back to work. This this shutdown is just fine with us. He say he he was characterized as a senior official in the Trump administration. That's true. I think it's probably Stephen Miller. He wrote, "We do not want most employees to return because we're better off. We're working better without them. Now that we're shut down, not only are we identifying and eliminating much of the sabotage and waste, but we're finally working on the president's agenda. Wasteful government agencies are fighting for relevance, but they will lose." Now is the time to deliver historic change by cutting them down forever. Yes, let's do away with the FAA. Let's do away with the uh, tra air traffic controllers. Let's abolish the IRS. No, seriously. I mean, it, it sounds like I'm just making stupid talk here, right? But this morning, Charlie Kirk tweets out, we should use this government shutdown as a chance to shrink government permanently. Privatize the TSA, privatize the FAA air traffic controllers, abolish the IRS, remove, quote, non-essential workers. He says if workers aren't essential, they shouldn't be working in government in the first place. You know, this is just, this is the kind of BS. This is, this is the kind of story that you hear from the billionaires, the libertarian billionaires, and the Republicans who hate the idea of America itself. They just hate the idea of America itself. A country where we, the people, run things. They're posit positively giddy about the idea that the oligarchs might take over everything and bend us to their will. I mean, that's really what's going on here, and that's what I just tweeted in response to, to his, uh, his clip. And meanwhile, you got Ann Coulter now laying out, you know, this, we're going back to the warfare that was, you know, when Reagan was, was president, he was like, oh, yeah, I fired those air traffic controllers. Look at all the benefits they have. They have better pay than you do. You should hate those people, too. Here's Ann Coulter. Basically. It's very silly for Democrats to hold up funding the government while they're weeping about the federal employees, which with much better benefits, retirement plans and vacation and sick leave than anyone watching this program has. Um, if they're gonna keep weeping about these federal employees, okay, you're holding it up for 0.11% of the federal budget. I mean, at some point, I think people are gonna realize that this is just the Democrats. Uh, they're obsessing on this wall because they want Trump to break a promise. Right. No, it's Donald Trump who's obsessing on the wall. He could open the government back up this afternoon. All he'd have to do is direct Mitch McConnell to hold a vote in the Senate. Boom. You've got, you've got your government open back up. But here is, as you just heard, Ann Coulter saying, you know, these federal workers, they have benefits. Oh, my God, you should envy them. You should hate them. How dare they, on your tax dollar, actually have a decent job? We can't have that. And, of course, the, you know, the privatize everything. You, know, you go back with Charlie Kirk's logic here, privatize the TSA, privatize the FAA, abolish the IRS. Well, who benefits when you do that? Is it the average working person? No. It's the billionaires. If air travel becomes more dangerous, well, they, they don't care. They're flying in their private jets. If, you know, <laughs> I guarantee you the Koch brothers do not go through airport security. They've never, never interacted or rarely interact with a TSA officer. And the, and the same is true of all, probably all the billionaires and multimillionaires in the United States. What they want is a country, a government, an economy, a society that is not run by we the people, but is run by the billionaires. It's run by the oligarchs. And that means that they've got to push government out of the way. This is the process that Ronald Reagan initiated, that he started in 1981. Take down government. This is the process that Steve Bannon bragged about two years ago when he said that the principal goal of the Trump administration would be to, to uh, dismantle the administrative state. What's the administrative state? Oh, it's like the EPA. They tell the Koch brothers uh, refineries, you know, you can't pollute like that. Or they tell the coal companies, you can't dump your poison in the rivers. We can't have that. That's the administrative state. 
Well, Trump is taking it apart right now. The EPA is not doing inspections. The USDA is not doing inspections. The FDA is not doing their work. And, you know, how long is it going to be before we see a serious outbreak of foodborne disease or before some, some more phony uh, drugs made in China show up in our pharmaceutical supply? I mean, th this is the dream of these neo-libertarian so-called Republicans, well, Republicans, I guess, is the destruction of the government of the United States of America, replacing it with an autocracy, with a, with a, with a government where the, the head of the government is himself a billionaire and he works hand in glove with other billionaires to run the affairs of state. It's, this is what you have in other autocratic countries and this is what Trump is bringing to America.